Okay, so here is step two of the sunset painting from um, one of my previous videos. I have started putting the silhouettes on. I have an outline of my giraffe, my elephant. I've been working on my trees. I've been working on the brush down here. I still have some work to do here. And then I have some additional work to do over here. Um, but once I get that all done, then I will show you um, the final painting when I'm all done. But I just wanted to show you that here is step two, kind of roughing in everything on my painting. And um, yeah, so let's get ready for tonight's painting. Hi everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. And tonight before we start our painting, I wanted to show you the um, final um, sunset picture. Um, I haven't coated it yet, but the painting itself is just about done. It's still drying a little bit. But here is the final painting before I um, varnish it. So there is my silhouette of my jungle scene with my elephant and my giraffe. Oh, I think it came out pretty good. So I will now let this finish drying and then I will go ahead and put a varnish on it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a gloss varnish or if I'm going to do um, a matte or I'm not even sure yet. Um, I have all kinds of varnish so I'll, I'll once it dries I'll make that decision. The paints themselves um, have a lot of gloss to them so um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet but I really think it came out nice. So tonight I want to talk about a new canvas um, that I bought. So I'm going to show you these Artist Loft paint pouring canvases. Now these I bought about a year and a half ago, I think it was. Um, I got them at my local Michael store. And these are only 11 by 14 or 27.9 centimeters by 35.5 centimeters. So they're quite small. But um, I went over to my local Hobby Lobby yesterday and I found these new ones. So Masters Touch, who I like to buy their canvases because they're really nice canvases, have come up with this paint pouring canvas and it's very similar to the Artist Loft ones where they have the nice sturdy cardboard backing on them. So it's a nice hard backing on them and it's a nice smooth surface on the front. So you know where um, you have, where you've leveled your canvas and then all of a sudden the center starts to sink in? With these, I really don't think it's going to. Now, these Artist Loft ones that I had purchased, like I said, about a year ago, I have been using those for resin paintings when I'm just doing um, seashores and things like that with resin and actual sand and stuff like that. Um, but tonight, since I found this nice one, and this one is a 16 by 20, I've already put the, um, taped off the back and put the push pins in. I am gonna try something, because it is a paint pouring canvas, that I've not done before. So I'm gonna do an open cup pour tonight on this um, 16 by 20 paint, or canvas, and then we're gonna see how it comes out. I, wanna, I want to see where like on my regular canvases it absorbs into the canvas. I wanna see what happens when I do a cup pour on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the canvas and then I will bring you down and we'll get started painting. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and the first thing I want to note about these, um, these new paint pouring canvases for Master Touch, and again, this one is a 16 by 20. Um, what I like about them is they're really easy to level um, because of the nice stiff cardboard on the back. They level out <clears throat> really nice. No um, popsicle sticks or anything else needed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an up co open cup pour and I'm gonna do it across the, the canvas. So I'm going to lay down some white over here um, and then we'll put our, our uh, puddle in our cup, uh, and our paint in the cup. Now, this white paint that I'm going to use is my Master's Touch um, white that I mixed up with Floetrol and water. So um, I have it in this um, Artist Loft bottle, but it's actually Master's Touch um, Floetrol and water. Now, um, I believe this is the one that I mixed 
right after I had trouble with the Artist Loft stuff. So I'm hoping it doesn't have any of the um, other paint in it that was causing all that selling. But we're going to find out. <clears throat> so again, because I know that I'm going to go up here, I need to have some flow, flow paint around it. Um, so I'm just going to add some now and then save some for my puddle because I want to make sure that I do have something um, for the paint to flow on once I mo start moving the cup. Um, so that's what I'm going to do because again I want to make sure that I cover the entire canvas and if I'm just going to go kind of diagonally up the this center area you might say um, I want to be able to like I said have enough paint to, to flow and if we tilt it we might end up with a whole painting pool of stuff but right now that's the plan that's the fun thing about these cup pours is you can start out thinking one thing and then the painting just takes over and does its own thing which I'm fine with and for trying this on a paint pouring canvas that's a good thing okay so I'm going to pour my little puddle here, and I do not do these very often, so if I'm not doing it exactly the way other people do, it's my painting and it's an open cup pour, so you can do it any way you want. Okay, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and use purples, magentas, and blues. I haven't decided if I'm going to accent with any colors, um, silvers, gold, copper, or uh, pewter. Um, we'll wait until the end to decide that. So we're going to start out with our Liquitex Basic Dioxanine Purple. I love these colors. And after I take the little boogers out of the top of them, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to open the bottle. Okay, so here's my first color. This is a large cup, so I'm just going to put in the, the um, dioxanine purple first. Then I bought this new Liquitex Basic Alizarin Crimson Hue Permanent and I've only used it a couple times. It's a nice dark um, magenta type color so I'm going to go ahead and try that with the dioxanine purple. See if I like it. Okay next we're going to use one of my favorites which is Liquitex Basic Phalo Cyan Blue. Everybody likes Phalo. And I gotta shake these up a little bit um, only because some of these I've been trying to avoid for a while since you know I do a lot of blue paintings. So they've been sitting for a little while. Okay next one this is a cute color too. This is Artist Love Violet. That's a pretty purple. It's your your Herald in the Purple Crayon Purple, for those of you that uh, know who Herald in the Purple Crayon are. Okay, next we're going to use, um, actually I don't want to use this one, I want to use Brilliant. Yeah, I was going to use Light Magenta, but um, the purples and the blues are a little bit darker, so I'm just going to use Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta. It's a little bit darker, but not as dark as the crimson. And we want some tr contrast but I didn't want it to be quite that different. And we could end up with a big old ugly mess at the end of this but let's find out. Okay and then the last one that I'm going to put in here for my blue is Liquitex Basic Primary Blue. Okay now I'm going to put one more layer because I can see they're already seeping out, so I'm going to put one more layer of each of the colors, and I'm going to hold the cup down now, because if you can tell, when the cup has enough paint in it, as it's showing over here, um, it starts to float away from you. So we need to hold on to it now, just to make sure that we can make it to the other side of the canvas here. I was going to say the other side of the road. All right, now I think I have more than enough to do that. Okay, um, so again, I'm going to do my best. I am going to add some more white. 
I'm looking at the flow pattern and I'm just thinking that it's not going to um, do it. What I'm hoping it will do without putting the white down. I know some people don't waste the white, but I don't do these often enough to know the right way to do them. Okay, so here we go. So I already see it coming out, and I am going to try my best to move this along and squiggle it or wiggle it as I go. So here we go. Okay, so there is our pour. Ooh, so I think the white it does have some of the cell, cell, cell issue in it, but I'm okay with that it, so far. Let's see how bad it gets. Um, so now I've done my little squiggle, and I'm going to torch it. I do want to get the purple off of here first and spread some of this white here because I want this to be able to move when I when I um, tilt it. I like what's falling off the sides. Okay, let's torch it. Oh, I really need to get a more dependable torch, but come on, what is your problem? Your silly thing? Oh, and then I let it go. There we go. I think I had it up too high. So I'm just going to torch everything. I do see a little glob there I don't like. Okay, now, while I let that sit to see what all is going to happen, I'm going to close up my paints. I see a lot going on here, so I know when I tilt that, that that should do something spectacular. Like I said, I don't do cup pours very often, but I had because I had these new paint pouring canvases, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try a cup pour and see what happens on this and see what the back looks like. You know, does it does it um, stay stiff? Does it pour off too easy? You know, what happens? Okay, and I'm going to wipe off my spatula. Love my OXO spatula. And I know I haven't said it lately, but um, remember when you're doing your canvases to, um, when you're done with your painting and you're letting it dry, make sure that you scrape the bottoms of your canvas just to get the drips off. Okay, so this looks like it's been doing a lot. So let's pick this up and see if we can tilt out something pretty out of it. I really want to see what we can get if we go that way. Whoopsie. And then we're going to go down to this corner down here because I don't like what's going on there. So I want to. There we go. Sorry, you can't see this. I'm going to go down to this corner and I'm going to drop off some of the cells that we got there. I think it's too much. And then I'm going to see if you can see. We have a lot of cell action, which I'm fine with a lot of it, but um, some of them were way too big for what I was looking for. And now we're going to need to cover this corner over here. There we go. Okay, so let's bring it back to our center as best we can. Okay, now I'm going to sit it down for a minute. Okay, so we have an interesting combination of the um, amount, the, the large amount of cells that have been popping through the white, this area here. And now we have this beautiful area here where that didn't happen. And I know some people like these big cells. I don't. Um, I don't mind the ones in here, but these big white ones, I don't like those as much. I think it looks more like um, I used Cell Creator in there, and I did not. So again, I'm going to do my best to stretch 
the blue, purple, magenta colors and see if I can drip off some of that just because I don't care for that. Oh, it looks like worms. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to try to bring her back. And I do have a feeling that a lot of this issue is again with that particular white paint. Okay, so that's not so bad, All right? I don't like all this, 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 um, <clears throat> white paint selling up. It, again, it's like there's um, silicone in my paint and there is not. It's just uh, some issue with the bottle I had, the old Artist Loft 2020 and 21 paint in. So we're getting a lot of those cells. I like how the, the painting is staying up. You can see that it's not dipping down like it does on the normal canvas. So this uh, cardboard insert that it has on these um, pour painting canvases is nice and stiff. The painting itself has too many cells in it. I don't know. Um, do you guys like those large cells when you get them with the colors and stuff like this over here? A lot of people really like that. I'm just not sure if I like it that much. So I am going to try torching this again just to see if I end up with a ton more of those cells. Or if it calms it down. So we'll see. But no, I don't like when these white bubbles pop up and, ah, see like that, pop up in my beautiful colors. I don't know, maybe you guys like that. Should we try to get more in there? I don't know. Should we try it? See what happens? I'm just sort of touching the paint to see if it draws up this white that it did over there. Like here, it might, here. I mean, some people like those. Um, when the when the white bubbles pop through, I don't always care for it. I don't know. I like the canvas. And that's what we were testing is the canvas, but I'm not sure if I'm all that thrilled with the um, the results of this one. I mean, the canvas is amazing. It's it's holding up well. It's um, you know I used. What, six colors? One, two, three, four, five, six colors, the white, and I filled this cup to here, up to here, so that bar, um, which is a lot of paint, and it's not sagging at all, so I really like that. Um, I just feel like it's missing some pizzazz in here. So I'm going to try something. Oh, where is my little brush I like? It's this little guy. I am going to try something because I just want to see what will happen if we give it a little more pizzazz. I mean, if it's going to have white showing through anyway, right? Why not make it look like it belongs? Because the painting itself, to me, is quite boring with just a bunch of bubbles in it. Um, so sometimes I just like to jazz them up a little bit and give it some direction. Wish I, there's one. I see, wish there was, there was some more down here that I could bring up, like these. In here. There's a lot in here. But sometimes, see? I already like it better. So that's what happens. So sometimes you just need to correct the painting, make it your own, make it the way you want it to look when it's done. Um, I am I am very um, I don't know how to say it. If, if I don't like the painting, 
I don't want to post it on my site as my painting. Uh, does, I hope that makes sense. Is um, because you don't see comments right away, and if you don't get a comment on it, you don't like it. You think somebody else doesn't. So if you see a painting um, that you know, like someone's done this to and, and dressed up, and you didn't like it, comment. Let them know. Hey, I liked it better before you did that. Um, because, you know, we're making these paintings not only for ourselves, but for you all. So if you see something that has been changed and you liked it, let us know. So what do you think? I like it better now. I still think there's way too many cells over here, but I'm not going to do that a million times. Um, but I did like... I do like this now. I feel like it's got... We've got this going here, we've got this going here. I feel like I need some of these just a hair bigger. Too much white down here. So I want to drag some of my color down just so I get some accents down here. That one looks good, that looks good. Now I like it better. Yeah. I kind of wish I'd put some gold in it. I think what I might do is when it gets a little drier, um, I might accent some of this with gold. I haven't decided yet. I'm just kind of looking at it going, okay, what would look, where would the gold look good? Because you don't want too much gold either. So, all right, well, um, I'm going to bring you down so you can see this cup pour. And again, this is an open cup pour. And I um, kind of like it now. I just didn't like that so many of these little white cells were, were just sitting here. You know, sometimes too much, too much white is not good. And I've seen, I've seen paintings where, um, like if you take this, this area right here, um, the whole painting looks like that, and, and to me it's like, where did all the co pretty colors go? So, but I guess people like that. I'm just not one of those people that care for that. Okay, um, let me get the camera. I'll bring you down and we'll take a look at this. Um, the edges, other than this one over here, I'll take a look at those and see what you guys are seeing, but this one I don't like at all. So I'm going to put this on here and let it drip down and do its own thing on this corner. That one's fine. Can't see that one. I will be right back. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> Sorry, I am having such a time with my throat and my voice lately. Okay, um, here it is, and I've added the gold accents, and I now really like this painting. It is light. It's airy. It has gold accents. Um, it has some uh, negative space here and there. The gold accents are not like straight lines or anything. They accent the white of the cells that we popped, you might say. And now I like this painting. And what I absolutely love is the canvas has not pooled anywhere. So the paint stays where you put it which I really like. So I think, um, and for $14.99 for this canvas is a pretty good deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for um, when Hobby Lobby and Michaels and those stores, well actually I think only Hobby Lobby has this particular canvas, the paint pouring canvas for Master Touch. I'm going to wait for these to, to go on sale. And then I'm going to pick up a bunch of different sizes because they had, I think, five different sizes. This is one of the bigger sizes, unfortunately. It's a 16 by 20, and at my store, they had only one bigger, and that was, uh, it was either 18 by 24 or it was 15 by 30. Um, but yeah, if they put these on sale, I'm going to go get some of these because I just like, I, I like how, how um, stiff they stay and how uh, the design doesn't move. Once you get it, you know, leveled, which is really easy, um, they, they stay put. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome aboard. And um, if you like this painting, 
please comment below. My contact information will be at the end of this video. Thanks. Bye. Okay, I'm coming back to you for two quick little things. Number one is to remember, take your um, popsicle stick or your tongue depressor, whatever it is you have. I have these cute little people. And make sure that you scrape the underneath of your canvas. Look at this, even when they're, with how nice they're leveled, there's barely any paint coming off because they're so nice and level. Okay, um, scrape the underneath. Okay, get that extra paint off.